Welcome to another edition of Living Simply Fun. I am your host, uh, Rita. And this you are is the Aaron. host? I am the hostess, <laughs> Rita, and this is uh, Aaron Jerkbags tonight for mm -hmm. being a douche. Hey, you know, I splurged on her. I, yeah. I guess uh, uh, I get to do what I want. Sorry about this, but I figure it's better to be more on proper eyesight. So, yes. we are going to be mm -hmm. reviewing the uh, Carlos Tarano Exodus 1959 50 year. The band is very hard to see here. But, and uh, these are Salomons. These are a Salomon. Uh, but she, they remind me of a little baseball bat. They're thick at one end and thinner at the other end. Um, and, uh, we just found out Johnny Sticks uh, sent us some of these uh, 6 by 60s so we'll get to try another size. Uh, this just seems to be the month of the Carlos Tarano Exodus 1959-50 year. Have you ever tried the Captiva? Captiva? No. Um, so, anyways, this is a really nice looking wrapper, if you could see. It's uh, kind of shiny there. Um... Not Double too much. Banded. I can't see a seam in it really, but I do see the stem work. That's all right. Um, so far, I'm just picking up hints of hay. I only get hay off the uh, head here. That's what I'm getting. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I always wonder how to light one of these. Uh, the only other time I've ever had this shape is like... Uh, it was the, the Ava Maria Morning Star. 5x58. Hmm. First now, just kinda... to let you know, I was hoping that I was going to talk to the guy about, um, my first band came off, by the way, by mistake, hmm. but, you know, <laughs> please excuse me, I'm now, dog. these ended up costing Rita 12 bucks at, uh, Evergreen Smoke Shop in Wenatchee near us. Uh, they... Um, surprisingly, you only had two left, so... It eyed me when I went into the humidor, and you can see, uh, the other guy at Evergreen, uh, I was looking out the window from time to time, he, uh, it looked like it was like stupid female, what are you doing walking back and forth in heels in the humidor, but I was looking for something. You had to have something that stuck out, and to me it was the Tiamo Revolution, the CAO, uh, uh... I forgot what that's called now. Uh, py pylon? No, pylon? It's made by um, CAO. Yeah, yeah, it's the pylon. And uh, the Alec Bradley... Uh, um, I forgot the name of that one, too. Uh, Presonado? No. Um, still, no, not Stiletto. <laughs> Something like that, though. Um, but anyways... Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get up and go dig through the uh, humidor right now. The other one, we both used to love Partagas Black Label, and it's been a long time since we gotten a hold of one of those, and Rita found some, so. The other reason is, is as you all know, Aaron helps me out with phone calls, so, you know, we got some calls to do tomorrow, but I decided for two reasons for the uh, Partagas Black Label. One, we never did a review on camera, and two... Is oh, we Aaron loved nine for, to ten years? I have. I smoked when my mom was uh, alive in your bedroom, in your apartment, oh. watching Tombstone, which she enjoyed. But anyway, that's another story. My mom, of course, not a girl like me, shouldn't be smoking these. But what the hell? So shall I continue? 
Second reason I got the part against black is Aaron collects the little nifty tins or two bows. Yeah, but I think I got those. Um, one thing I'm going to say about this stick so far is the first hint of this I got was kind of peppery. Um, but I don't know how that's going to change or evolve I'm yet. getting a hint of pepper, but I'm picking up a sweetness to it. Like a honey sweetness to it so far. Mm, there is kind of a nice little sweetness to it. Um, it's grassy, though. Um, Please excuse the dog. And neighbors are going up and down and up and down and up and, and down the stairs right I, now. I want to say, please excuse me having one of these. I've had a busy day from morning to night pretty much here and living simply in fun. We went shopping for supplies and I was dressed to the nines looking really nice. And oh, if it's you guys, been a very busy day. And if you guys have noticed, this is my new cigar smoking outside hat. While I'm in, you know, Aaron wanted me to wear something like this when I'm doing And I got a new uh, all-white fedora with a black band. So. I look like a, I got a flower on my head. <laughs> but anyways, it's been a busy day. Yeah, you should be sitting in the Bahamas having yourself a pina colada and smoking a cigar with that. Of course. <laughs> That's the way to go. Yeah. So anyways, I suppose we'll get into the first uh, half of this and you know, really get it, let it get going and let you know how it's going when we get there. Uh, and we started this thing about uh, about 6.30 our time. So uh, we'll let you know how long this takes and I hope it's a good long one. Yes. So for you, it's a hop, skip, and a jump for us. It'll be a while. Welcome back to uh, the first third of uh, this video. The Sorry Carlos for my fingers. The Carlos uh, Salaman. It's a slow-burning puffer. Yes, the Exodus 59, 50 year. Um, you know, I'm going to say from the very beginning of this, I thought this was going to be a very strong, full-bodied cigar. Uh, especially the first couple puffs where I got pepper right off the bat, and it just seemed to be a very stout smoke. Not to be rude to any of you, or if you think I'm rude, but I'm going to say that this pairs nicely with a dry, hard cider. One thing I'm going to say about this is beautiful amounts of smoke. So far, it's been burning almost on a razor. Uh, no need I mean, to look light. look at this. I just fixed one fix, right? Mm -hmm. Remember uh, you told me just to leave it go? And it Look fixed at this. itself. It fixed itself. And it's nice to have a self-fixing cigar. That now, we're... they say these, and I don't know if Aaron has said this in part one, but these come in a box of five. Now, I, I have bad depth of reception. It could have been an empty box of five, but it looked like it was a long enough box to hold ten of these. Yeah, so where he got them, we don't know. But uh, thanks, Mike, for having these. Uh, if you are watching, Mike... Thank he said he was going to check out our channel. He also said he's going to try to bring in some of the pipe tobaccos I'm looking for. So, thank you again, Mike. So, what else can we say, Aaron, about this taste? Well, we discussed smoke? the flavor on this because I wasn't exactly picking up anything that jumped out at me. And that's one reason I don't much, I'm not a big fan of the mild smokes. Uh, sometimes the flavors are so delicate that it's hard to put words on them. So I'm kind of sitting there thinking there's some minor leathery and some slight nutty, particularly in the aftermath. But Rita says, when I asked her, she says, popcorn. And there's a slight sweetness to this. And I actually, now that I think about it, and I've been trying to picture the flavor, I kind of get this kettle corn flavor. That's what I said. First I said popcorn. And then you said kettle no, corn. No, no. And Aaron said not buttery. And I said kettle corn. Mm -hmm. And he says, yes, that's what it is. And it's got a... It, it's very corny. Um, <laughs> and, and not in a cheesy sort of way. Wait, I, was picking up, this I was picking up popcorn in the air with the smoke. So that's what I said to him. And it tastes like it. But... I just want to say for some of you subscribers out there, it's very rare for you to see my hair pulled back. But today I did it because I thought it would look 
Nice. And there's a slightly salty flavor to it, too. And uh, so far, I'm thoroughly enjoying the cigar. And this time, we actually got back to just as we're starting into the second third, rather than when we're at about the halfway point. And uh, at this point, we're 40 minutes into the stick. So this is going to be a nice two-hour smoke. Uh, I have a hunch on. And um, th this is definitely a very nice Tarano. I just got done last month with a 20-pack of the Vega Dominicanas, which were very nice for the most part. I had like one or two errors out of the entire 20 cigars. Um, but this is even much, much nicer than that. Uh, so the, this is a superb smoke so far. Very nice. In my opinion, and I'm just going to say this, and I will continue saying it during the other parts, but I believe this cigar is a complex bomb. I mean, it's got full of flavor, full of smoke. It's one of those that you can't go wrong, you know. And no offense to Mike, who, if he is watching this, I just want to say, eventually I will get to try one of each of those Padrones to view, and we will give your shop the credit for selling us it, just like today. I might we're as well for anybody. By, uh, we're not endorsed by Evergreen, but we support them. But they are pretty much our premier smoke shop in the area. We used to go to Big Smoke, but uh, they stopped bringing in new things, and it's getting very standard, and, well, we've tried most of it, but Evergreen's constantly keeping a flow going of rotating stocks so that we never run into, like, the same stuff all the time, and that's one thing I really like about Evergreen, uh, is just the fact that there's always something new I can try pretty much, uh, and that is just awesome. So, I also want to say something for you viewers out there. One of these days, me and Aaron are going to be going up to a place. Give me that coupon book for a second. To a place called Buy Mart here. Buy Mart. They have nothing to do with cigars. Can I just finish the mm -hmm. story? Anyways, Buy Mart, and near Buy Mart is the East Wenatchee's smoke shop which carries different cigars. Yeah, we've never been to the Evergreen on the in the East Wenatchee. There's two different ones and all I know is the one's near a donut shop in East Wenatchee and that's all I know and I don't know where the donut shop is. <laughs> Maybe that's why uh, a lot of cops smoke cigars over in that part. Yeah. I have no idea if they do or don't. And her phone just keeps going and keeps going. It's the Energizer Bunny. Mm, yes. So, anyways, we'll get back to you when we get into this final third. We don't want to give you a 40-minute video here watching us smoke this whole thing. No, nope, so, not right. So, keep going and uh, see you keep soon. looking for other uh, part the next. Welcome back to the final third of this uh, Carlos Tarano Exodus 1959 50 year. year. Uh, Salaman. This cigar has been a total shock to me. When I started this cigar, the first hints I got were just that full-bodied pepper. And, uh, I was like, this a is, this is going to be one strong smoke. Turns out that it ended up a very mild smoke. Uh, good flavors, uh, decent flavor. Uh, I'd say the flavors were kind of strong in it, but... The body itself was mild to medium, uh, which was not expected at all. Uh, it's kind of got a rich flavor to it as I've progressed through this cigar. And uh, the, the, there's kind of that slight nutty flavor, um, that popcorn kind <clears throat> of the kettle corn, the slightly sweet but not salty or buttery or anything has just remained in this. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying this cigar. Uh, it did have a $12 uh, price tag on it. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and from the review uh, uh, on a $12 cigar, 
I'm going to say that this is a, a good solid eight. It's definitely worth trying for $12 if you can afford the $12 price tag. Uh, there are other cigars that are cheaper, but this one held my interest throughout. It, it's definitely a cigar with some unique uh, flavors to it. And uh, I, I have to highly recommend it. Um, and as for a cigar overall, this has got to be up there like a 9.8, 9.9. Uh, I'm loving this cigar. Um, I, I could say I, I don't have enough of this one. I'm sitting here like, great, I'm winding down on this. I want more. It's already been a two-hour smoke for us um, on this. Uh, I think it's 6.7 by 54 or something. 58. 58. <clears throat> it actually... It's like a spliff, though, so it get, like a baseball bat or something. So it gets from big to small at the bottom. But um, I, I'm loving this. Um, I, I, I just can't say enough about this cigar. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it it's been a pleasure to puff this one. Sorry about my phone, everyone. That's my sister, Teddy. So, hi, Teddy. You watch these from time to time. Same with you, Auntie and Aya. So, my uncle likes cigars, so he might learn something from this and others. Um, so, first of all, I want to say thank you again to Johnny Sticks for the cigars he sent out. We should be uh, doing an unboxing and showing you what we'll be trying soon. So, um, we're going to review them all. Johnny Sticks. Said, None of what he sent us had we tried until today. That was just a shock that we get a list of what he's sending us. And two of the, uh, one of the cigars in the box that he sent us happens to be what we are currently smoking as we read what he sent us. So it was like, whoa. Um, and he sent us four of these in 6x60. Six so... I, I'm I'm just stoked and elated that I'm going to be able to smoke two more of these this month. Actually, um, Johnny, uh, Johnny, uh, I just want to say uh, we're going to review uh, the six by sixty because of the size. I thank you. You know how to win a girl's heart. I am a six by sixty girl, seven by sixty. Anything sixty ring gigs is awesome for me. I also like nubs. Nub sizes are my favorite, too, the sweet spot. But to go on, I'm thinking of hoarding two of those cigars, two of the 6x60s, to have when I'm recovering from surgery or right before surgery um, in our trip we're coming to next month. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say thank you. You made a girl very happy. So, and, and um, we were afraid that next month we might not be able to review so many because uh, next month we're going to be kind of really financially strapped. And, well, as we've done the math, uh, we got 33 reviews lined up right now. So I think we'll have no problem if we space them out to have uh, reviews for next month, too. Exactly. So, and uh, we're going to try to do it. I have and, to talk to the doctor. Thank you, Johnny Sticks, again. We probably would not be able to do many reviews next month if it wasn't for you. So. I, I want to say also, Johnny Sticks, I got to talk to the doctor's office before I go in there a few days before or first part of next month, call them to find out how long after surgery I can't smoke. So that helps us out event, uh, big time. So thank you. <laughs> So, for my rating of this cigar for all, of you is, uh, for all of you is, I'm giving this cigar, with the flavors and everything and being complex, a 9. Price point is a flat 10. You're getting your money's worth if you can get a hold of these. Now, I don't know, if you're watching this, Mike, I don't know how you got a hold of these, but these are very good. Yeah, because we can't find a box of Solomon's. All we can do is find five packs of them. And no, it said box of five sold out. Yeah, and he had at least a box of ten. So where he got a larger box, I don't know. But, hey, I don't really care. Because I know sometimes they give uh, the, uh, things to brick and mortar stores you can't get elsewhere. So now um, the uh, thing about the price point I'm going to give this a 10 solid because for the price I think this cigar and I'm not comparing it with many is a lot better than say the Gurkha um, the Gurkha Grand Reserve with the oh, cognac and the Gurkha Grand Reserve was more expensive than this and this was a far better cigar far better 
Um, I've, I've had a lot of cigars that are more expensive than this, and this is far better than any Now, I don't so. remember what Aaron paid for the Brickhouse Maduro 6x60. That was 60, like 7 bucks. But that smoked four hours. I had two movies that night. We watched uh, uh, the... Um, um, I don't even remember what we watched. We, well, yeah, we did. It was with uh, <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks. Mm. Uh, the Da Vinci yeah. Code and Angels da Vinci and, and Code Demons. and Angels and Demons. We watched two different movies and one cigar. <laughs> that well, that was amazing. Well, you um, were on the second one when I was still puffing on the six by six, but I'm a slow puffer most of the time, except when I'm watching his video games and I have nothing to do. So then I smoke a little lot uh, faster. But anyways, price is ten. The cigar is a nine. Oh, and if you're um, wondering about McCarthy's uh, Oregon Single Malt, I've never tried it. I just found this shirt, and I was like, you know, this is a really soft shirt. And I was like, you know what? I, I need a new shirt. So and I Aaron picked me it. up some a couple new shirts today, so I will be uh, wearing uh, the new shirt coming up soon so I can put them in my rotation. I will be wearing different shirts after uh, April... 22nd, 21st, 22nd, so you'll see a little change, but not much. But anyways, Solid Cigar 9, Flavor is 9, and Price Point is 10. And since I uh, bought these cigars, not uh, not just to review, but I also wanted to give something to Aaron. And if you could tell by watching me smoke, I'm enjoying this so much that I set it down, planning to sit for like 30, 40 seconds, and I pick it up like right away. It's I want to say I had... Two construction errors. I had one uh, canoe, one uh, one uh, hangnail, and it started to tunnel lightly, so we fixed it. But otherwise, this cigar has been just a gem, a gem overall. So. And from uh, my last email, I think we finally came up with our own catchphrase of sorts. Rita keeps saying, "Put it in your pipe, smoke that," but that doesn't really work because this is cigars. So I'm gonna hold on. So here we go. Please add and subscribe. Please post mm -hmm. comments, leave feedback, suggestion. And enjoy every puff. Thank you, and may God bless you all.